is Tad Ehrlich, and I'm a senior environment artist here at Intrepid Studios. Primarily, I am in charge of building the objects in the environment, building out the environment, placing objects, uh, materials for the objects, and anything that is not a person or a creature running around, I take part in that. The goal of the node system was to make sure that every place was special and unique, to make sure that every node you go into will offer something different in a different way in a different place, and then have that same system facilitate all the races, whether you go into a node that's human, go into a node that's elven, or one that's dwarven, each one will be supported by the system. And not only that, but also it provides um, procedural randomization throughout the entire world. So roads, bridges, all that stuff, it can all be randomized and made different every time you go through this area and it builds up. When you enter into a city, you're going to notice that the buildings, the placement of NPCs, the, the services that you can access are unique to that particular city. Uh, part of the tool that TAD has been designing really has been to accommodate a procedural method by which each city can have its own identity. One of the key things that I enjoy in games is a sense of discovery and a sense of exploration. And I feel like having a system that provides so much variety means that when I find a new place, it's always going to be special. You know, I'm always finding something new and different and isn't just the same cookie cutter stuff just strewn all over the world. As a player, I've experienced a lot of MMORPGs, and it's interesting, every one I've experienced has the same type of railroaded structure uh, that you go from quest A to B to C. Uh, and it's really, you know, something of, of my desire that I've had to create a uh, system that would be dynamic in the creation of your world, to kind of mix uh, you know, the civilization building aspect with the RPG element. I just think it goes hand in hand that if we extend this role-playing game mechanic into the development of cities, uh, that creates really interesting gameplay that players can participate in. And part of what this node tool provides is for each city's character and identity to be unique to the, to the players that develop it. Part of the technology that's being developed here at Intrepid Studios really relates to our desire to create a world that is developed by the players. And this allows you to see in real time the changes that you're affecting on the world around you and not just log into the same static game every day. This takes what the community is doing and it presents it in real time to the players so that they can see the effect of their changes. We want to make it special for when a player finds a node and a node is grown and built, that it's different from every other node in the world so that they can claim that this node is their special place and we know that someone on the other side of the world isn't going to have a node remotely like it. I would say the thing I like most about working at Intrepid is the fact that it's such a small, cohesive company. Everyone has to interact with everyone else. There's far fewer layers to get in the way of actual production. It's about making the product and getting it done and making it as good as we can. And I like the simplicity of that. Like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.